last thing I was going to do, actually, I'll wait for Dr. A to come back. If you can find him quickly, because we'll not done stress about Um Higher. So, Dr. A, this is um, some of the things that people turned in photos-wise. It looked like cool. there was some Everclear and food coloring used. Excellent. Um, someone went into the top shelf and got the <laughs> Belvedere. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious to I'm curious to hear how the Everclear or vodka did. Did it evaporate at all? Yeah. I, I would assume it didn't. Yeah. How, how did it How did it go for people? Did anybody have a problem losing liquid or or having a dry cup or anything? My cup was dry. I, I, I have to redeem mine because mine um, the little the caps that I had they flew off, so I have to redo it. But the liquid was still in there. Okay, and what, Paulina? What did you use? What was the liquid that you did use? Um, it's like this. It, it's like a mixed drink, but it had like red art. It was like already had vodka and like okay, red, so like alcohol juice. based thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I just used that because cool. it already had whatever. Somebody else was saying something before the Zoom cut him off. Uh, well, one thing I one thing I used was um, was di was a, a dish soap with an orange fragrance actually, and I just picked up my uh, my pitfall traps uh, yesterday, and surprisingly got a good got a good amount got cool. a good amount of uh, bugs with bugs with that. I was actually surprised that it actually worked. Yeah, that surfactant a lot of times will a lot will will, will um, make it much easier for the critters to fall into the liquid if you have some soap in there. So that's right, cool. But all, right, but also because insects also like something that's like sweet and fruit, fruity that ah, attracts them. Gotcha, and that's why gotcha. I chose it. Cool. Anybody Rain, else? Rain, you did the Everclear, right? Was there still Everclear in yours after a few uh, days? Uh, I haven't checked it because I literally just put it out yesterday, but that was something I was going to do right after class. Cool. Put up, if you give me like five minutes, I'll uh, I'll go check right now. <laughs> <laughs> anybody? Did anybody use uh, the vegetable or try the vegetable oil? I used the vegetable yeah, oil. Up. It's actually gotten a lot. I have a couple of worms, roly polies. Cool. It's still there. Cool. cool. That's awesome. Um, lots of so. Lots of hangers were used to make um, their their posts, which is great. There was a lot of, of cool ways that um, students were kind of tying them to trees. I'm curious to hear how some of these, um, you know, doing it to, to branches or trunks, um, if they were able to kind of stick in the same spot over a few days or if the wind got to them. I know some students ended up going a more structured route with uh, there are a few different um, posts or, or some cardboard, which is cool. This was uh, a unique way to do the grass, which I think is awesome. I love the grass. Little cool. You think, yeah, this one was attached to like a, it looks like a outdoor um, like, like a, like, shed or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hose box. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, even just kind of sticking, I think this was Tyler's, yeah, that you stuck a piece of wood in the fence and just hung it. Like, that's that's awesome. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, those were kind of the ones that I saw up about 8 o'clock this morning. I'm sure some of you have posted more. But I guess that is a, a segue into if you want to take it away, Dr. A. Yeah, so the one thing I'll say before I start, uh, just in looking at these pictures, that's great, you guys. I, I love the creativity. It might be fun to actually uh, do some kind of uh, visualization of this when we're done, like how many people hung them, how many people you know stuck them on things. But um, but uh, uh, I, I applaud you. Whatever you guys try to do, however you got these up, that's great. I found these traps that you guys received to be more much more challenging than our typical traps. Yeah. And I, it's because they're, and I didn't notice this until I actually deployed them, but they're much, the, the plastic, the thickness of the plastic is much, um, much thinner than I'm used to. So, so if you saw my video, when, when we have the wire hoops, they, they're, it's always totally straight up or you know, very erect, it's very rigid, um, but, but th these guys are super floppy. And um, so clearly it's a, it's a cheaper plastic so if we're just if you're just hanging them like like for example the image there on the left if they're just hanging gravity uh, hung down I suspect there probably isn't 
an, a difference at all in that context. But if you are, but if the folks are doing more like the suspended from the bottom or or somehow attached from a point um, uh, below as opposed to above, uh, I I I think it's a challenge. So so you know, if we were to do this again, if we were all in quarantine in the, in the fall or, or you guys had a project and you couldn't get BioQuip and you had to use these, they obviously can totally work, but I would probably think about, um, putting two together, uh, you know, so, so pulling off the plastic and then, and then shoving two pieces together to make them a bit more thicker, to give them a bit more strength if we were to do our traditional type of deployment. So, um, but it's all good, but it's all good. So cool. Um, all right, let me, um, we stop sharing. Uh, yeah, I can. I can definitely tell you the that uh, thinness has changed things because I'm one of the ones who uh, use the wire hanger to uh, make the loops. Uh -huh. And uh, about three quarters, the only one that hasn't officially started flopping over is the one that hasn't caught a lot. But the ones that have been relatively active and have been catching bugs have just started to droop slowly and over time and at this point i'm trying to possibly figure out how better to totally leave them up because otherwise they're just going to be down in the grass by the end of the day yeah no no yeah yeah so so yeah so i mean i would say one thing you could just think of is is maybe and i think the coat hangers are an easy one i think most people have some coat hangers in their closet but you could try a little frame as it were and and sort of attach the um you know, like almost like like a mini quadrat, you know, and it sort of attach that to the sticky part of the, the the trap, and you would lose, in theory, you use some you lose some some aerial extent of the trap to contact with the metal, but it would it would act as a frame, um, and and you wouldn't, and because of the stickiness, you wouldn't need to cut more holes or or sew it on or tie it on or something. But that's a that's a suggestion. Hey, Brenton, can you Thanks. let me share my screen?